a map because there's so many different animals. It's day one in Fukuoka and I'm already leaving Fukuoka. I'm doing a day trip to one of the places I've wanted to go so badly growing up. Fun fact, growing up I've always wanted to be a vet because I just loved animals so much. I'm going to the Nagasaki Bio Park, which is basically a zoo slash park where there's just free animals everywhere, especially the capybaras. You guys have definitely seen it all over Reels, TikTok of the capybaras in the hot spring and they are most likely from there. It's not winter so they're not going to be in the hot spring but I'm I'm so excited. I'm Brazilian and I have never seen a capybara, at least that I can remember, and it is one of my favorite animals. I got to Fukuoka last night. This is my room. It's enough for one person. Most hotels in Japan will be this size. I had to take a train and a shuttle bus from here. I realized while I was here last night that everything is open until very late, and I already knew that things open late, but here everything is open until 3 in the morning. This is also my first full day solo traveling, so we're gonna see how that goes. I thought I was gonna get blown away on the bridge. I got a map because there's so many different animals that you can see. Over here, there's... I don't know where to start. I'm just gonna follow this route because... I honestly have no idea where I'm going, but I'm finally here. It's a lot emptier here than I thought. I thought it'd be like really packed because one of the buses back are full already. No way, they're just out in the open here. Yeah, it's an ostrich. So these are Patagonia cavies. Why does it look like a tiny capybara but with pointy ears? Look how cute it is! Oh my god, it's coming here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, according to this map, we're heading to the flower dome and I think there's bats in here. And it's so quiet, this is so peaceful. It's super humid in here, but there's actually bats. Guys, they're like right in front of me. Hey, it's me. I have Hi. I was just sleeping because it's the daytime, but look how cute. I've never been in an open enclosure like this. I really like it here compared to other parks, not just because it's kind of open. It guides you everywhere to go. I got a 
snow cone because it's so hot. It's actually really windy, which is nice. Guys, I found the cabibaras on the other side. They all came over here. But look at the sun. It is so nice here. So now I'm going to Paw World. And Paw World has cats, dogs, guinea pigs, rabbits, and I think birds, I'm not sure. into my second hotel in Fukuoka. I have a hotel collaboration here and they gave me the largest room here and I just have to show you guys because it's so beautiful. I fell in love with this place as soon as I walked in. They gave me some muscats. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure these are muscats. This view is absolutely insane. And then we have the bedroom, another TV, and a sofa. And then they brought my luggages up which is really sweet of them because it's so heavy and I feel bad for anyone carrying it. The bathroom. There's different light settings for the bathroom as well. They have this for the master bedroom as well. It's so hard because I want to enjoy Fukuoka as much as possible, but I also want to stay here the entire day. Let's try these muscats. I think they might just be grapes. That's not a grape. Whatever this is, tastes exactly like a jabuchikaba. So I don't know if these are Japanese or from Kyushu. Thank you. 
currently walking around Daimyo. I was gonna go back and have lunch, but I decided last minute to go shopping instead. There was a thrift store that I really liked that I saw last night, but I went right at closing. Now I think I'm just gonna try to shop for a little bit or just at least walk around. This one turns out to be better. The one that I had in Harajuku was not good at all and it did not have a cheese pull. The bread is still sweet but this one's so much better than the one I had in Tokyo. I'm currently at afternoon tea. I love when hotels have afternoon tea, so of course I came. There's a little menu, I'm so excited. There's a matcha scone. I have no idea when this stopped filming. I really hope it was just recently. When I was getting a tour of this hotel, she told me that this is the tallest building in Tenjin. And the reason why there's not that many tall buildings in Fukuoka is because the airport is really close. If you fly to Tokyo, you usually fly to Narita or there's Haneda too. Haneda is more of the domestic airport. It's where I flew in. And then there's also uh, Narita and it is like two hours away from the city and two hours by train. Um, I'm pretty sure by taxi, it's like 30 minutes, but that's if you want to pay $100. And I'm not exaggerating. It's actually $100 for a 10 minute ride. Taxis are so luxurious here in Japan. And I think it's because they actually take their job seriously. I think my bangs are somewhat okay. So now, oh, so about the, about the airport, I didn't even finish that. So because the airport's so close, they can't have tall buildings. I don't know if I want my bangs wispy or if I want them like to the side. This is second day, third day hair actually. Usually I don't put my bangs down on third day hair. Sometimes not even second day hair, but I did get a perm. So I'm like trying to get the most out of it. This is also, I didn't even say the name. It's from Aunt Honey. I don't know what the number one bang brand is here. Here's my makeup. Let's go get some street food. This is my official makeup and hair look. actually gonna go to the station that I got recommended. Apparently there's a ton of food stalls around there so thank you to the Reds team for letting me know. I thought I was gonna be doing like yatai hopping like different ones But just that place I did not want to leave and I seen on Google and everywhere where you shouldn't linger for any longer Than like 30 minutes because everyone's coming in, but it wasn't that packed I did not want to leave because I thought as a foreigner no one would talk to me or anything before I even entered the yatai A man went up to me and was like hello nice to meet you. Where are you from? I think maybe to practice his English or just talk to a foreigner I'm not sure I go into the yatai and then some other locals were talking to me and then they were like asking me where I'm from and we were just talking and then one of them pointed out how I hold my chopsticks differently because I learned how to write using my middle finger and not my uh, ring finger which is how Japanese learn to write with their ring finger and so he pointed out how I hold my chopsticks differently and how I use my chopsticks well like it was so cute and then another guy came in he was telling me how he loves going to yatais and practicing his English with foreigners I just like I didn't want to leave and then like I got to a point where I was like understanding some of their conversation I was like oh my god I wish I could speak more but it was so nice like I had such a good yatai experience I thought I'd get like kicked out or something or no one would speak to me that was so nice
tell me why I almost had a heart attack because I thought I lost my contacts. Because I remembered packing them in my bag, but I couldn't find them and I was just looking for them blindly and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to take out my glasses. And I never wear my glasses, but I finally found them. And I really thought I'm gonna have to wear glasses for the rest of my time in Japan, which is miserable because I don't like wearing glasses. Now that my eyes are alive, good morning guys. I'm actually in a little rush because it's 9.48 right now. My alarm was at seven and then I couldn't sleep until 2.30 in the morning. So I was like, you know what? It's not happening, but I still kept my alarm because I had hopes. I wanted to at least put a little effort, but it's just so difficult when you're traveling. Like I can't. If you work out when you travel, you are props to you. Every time I travel, I bring workout clothes. Literally never use them. I use them for something else. Like I wear workout stuff when I go on the train now because I sweat like crazy moving 300 pounds of luggages. I know I can do sending my luggage and stuff, which I could have actually done. I was planning on doing that for when I leave Fukuoka because I actually I leave Fukuoka today. So anyways, breakfast goes at 10.30 and it's almost 10 and i don't want to get there right at 10 30 because then it's just gonna close i have this whole plan of waking up early and going to the gym maybe hitting the pool and then like getting work done and editing none of that happened i was so close to having a meltdown when i got my hair cut because it was so different like my hair was short my hair was dark my hair was curly and my bangs were really short and thick. So I was like, I already messed up my skincare. I didn't want to hide my hair the whole trip. I still have like three weeks in Japan. And I don't think it's bad actually. I just don't think it suits me. And again, if you agree, don't tell me. And like, it's weird because I've had dark hair before. I've had short hair before. I've had bangs before. I've had thick bangs before. But I've never had all three together. Is it bad if I show up to breakfast like this? Like, I am just bare face. They might think that I am not okay. So I'm just gonna put some clothes on and get breakfast.